1996, oh, 1992, I had a Fulbright research grant in India, and I was invited by the Goethe Institute to take part in an international weaving workshop. Um, this was really exciting for me because I, I had this interest in fabric and textiles that I was talking about earlier. And um, what the workshop entailed was basically artists were able to bring their drawings, their original drawings to the workshop. And then we would work side by side with weavers who helped to realize our tapestry designs in, in that format. So I think I made about 15 tapestries and the weavers did most of the work and I, I just sort of guided them and added color and um, changed things here and there. Um, but one thing that I noticed that is still reoccurring is the, 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 tap, the um, textile relationship that I got from a, a young age that I was happy to have. And also um, focusing on the center with this one, actually I made three tapestries and they were all slightly different. This one is the only one that's left at this point, but it's another way of zeroing in or focusing on the center. The other thing that was really interesting for me for working with the tapestry was working with the weft and the, the warp in the weft. And I started developing this um, interest in, in the graph at that point. Um, and the graph was it basically um, helped me to create a foundation um, where I could, the rest of my artwork could float around, but if I had this graph with a parallel and perpendicular, it, it helped ground me. So that really began in 1992 with the tapestry series. Did you give them that drawing? Yes. And then you watched yeah. them do the weaving? Well, what we did was they had various different sizes of uh, looms, and I would choose which size, how, how wide I wanted it to be. You could, uh, I don't know, the widest one was probably maybe about eight feet. Um, so I got to choose what size I wanted it to be, and it was really a wonderful project. The kind of weaving is like a thick one way and a thin the other way. I don't know what's called the terms. Well, it's not, it's not the same it's not the same lines against lines, thread against thread. It's it's thick horizontals and thin verticals. Um, is that a question? Or is there a name for that kind of weave? It's a different kind of I'm not sure what that is. It was their style of weaving. The, yeah, this workshop in particular had uh, bread and butter. They would make basically placemats, coasters, curtains, things like that. But then they also had this, this whole project that was to invite international artists to come to realize their projects there. And so I was part of that. Tassara Center for Creative Weaving in Kerala, South India, was the name of the workshop.